What's going on everybody? This is Sal down here at Worth Harley Davidson. And today I'm gonna to be introducing to you the brand new 2024 Harley Davidson Freewheeler. First, we're gonna talk about styling on this brand new 2024 Freewheeler. You have your Hiawatha headlamp. It's basically a dual halogen headlamp. It actually produces 30% more visibility when you're going down the road. So if you're on a highway at night, you're gonna see more into those ditches so you can look for things coming out of the ditches, obviously, uh, at night there. So the front rim, they went to a 19 inch front rim. They also chopped up that fenders. You just see more of that wheel, just gives it more of a hot rod. Uh, kind of, you know, just a badass look to it, basically. Then you go to the back, they have the 18s in the back. You also have the dovetail coming off on the fenders. They also went blacked out on these motorcycles. So no more chrome on the freewheeler. It's all gonna be blacked out. They come in three different colors. Billiard gray is gonna be your standard color this year. From there, you step up to a black. And then from there, they have a two-tone. It's an alpine green and black in color. All right, next we're gonna talk about comfort and storage. So. One of the things that everybody does when they buy a motorcycle, they put handlebars on. This year, it's the first OEM bike that comes from the factory with 12 inch mini apes, and they're actually pulled back to you. So when you sit on it, it's just a more comfortable feeling as far as where your hands are. It's a more natural position when you're on there and the controls come back to you so you're not stretched out or leaned over. It's actually a really comfortable ride. They also have a two up. It's a reduced reach seat. So for somebody that has maybe a shorter inseam, you're actually closer to the controls. Those bars are pulled back. So you're in a really great just position in general when you're riding, because we don't want to be elbows locked out and we don't want to be leaned over either. So uh, great job on that. One of the other things that I think they did a fantastic job is the storage in the trunk. That's a big thing for a lot of people who do a lot of touring and a lot of riding. So the trunk obviously opens right to left here. You have enough space where you can fit two full-size helmets side by side in there or you can put all the stuff that your wife gets when you go to all the dealerships as you hit on your trip you can fit all the shirts the jackets boots whatever you need this storage has got everything that you could ever imagine uh, as far as the rides concerned man it's just a great ride you don't get anything better your comfort you ain't got to worry about putting your feet down at a stoplight or if you're on a hill or something like you, you ain't got to worry about any of that the most comfortable ride you're going to get is gonna be on this freewheeler right here. Next, we have the engine and performance. In the new 24s, it still comes with the 114 uh, Milwaukee 8 motor. It's got four valves per cylinder, which makes it an eight valve motor. It also has two spark plugs per cylinder, so you get more fuel efficiency, you got a lot more power. It has 119 foot-pounds of torque and it has 90 horsepower. So what that means to you, if you're going on the on-ramp and you hit it, you don't need to downshift to pass people, all right? If you're going down 70, just crank that throttle and you'll pass them with uh, minimal effort, it'll be effortless to you. It's got a lot of power in here. You got a six speed transmission going down the highway. You go from fifth to six, drops the RPMs down. You actually get better fuel economy, which is what everybody's looking for these days. All right, we're moving on to the suspension, folks. So 2024, it's got a 49 millimeter on the front fork with a dual bending show of valve. So what that means to you, it's just a, a bigger fork. They had a 41 back in the day. They went to a 49. It's just a little bit beefier. So when you're going down the road and you hit a bump, Instead of slapping like that, it's just gonna float like a Cadillac, like a 65 Cadillac, big body that weighs about 6,000 pounds. You're just gonna float down the road. You're not gonna feel all those bumps and uh, all the hard potholes that you're gonna hit in the road. It also comes with a pre-adjustable suspension. So the older bikes used to have an air pump. We had to plug it in, pump it up to 50 or 35 or whatever it was, 50 was the max. You do about 30, 35, now you don't gotta do that. So if you have somebody who's gonna ride with you or you're gonna have more luggage, you can read in your owner's manual to tell you, hey, if the weight you're adding is gonna be this, you need to adjust your suspension to this. So it's just gonna give you a lot better of a ride. It's gonna be smooth and it's gonna be super comfortable for you. All right, next we're gonna talk about the safety features on this motorcycle. So with this 2024 Harley Davidson Freewheeler, we have uh, a linked ABS brake system. And what that means to you is if you're going down the road and something pulls out in front of you and you have to smash on that front brake, typically in a situation, your rear, your ass end would kick out from you. Well, what the linked uh, ABS brake system does, you smash on that front, it's actually gonna engage the rear as well. So your bike's gonna squat down instead of your ass end trying to kick out from you. So it's just gonna have you come to a more controlled stop. You'll stop a little bit quicker. The other thing they have is they call it a cornering enhanced electronic brake system. So same thing, you're going around a corner and your ass end starts to kick out from you. The computer system is gonna realize that, hey, 
we're not in line where we should be and it's gonna engage that front and bring that bike back to a straight line instead of you fishtailing it around the corner. So there's also a reverse in this. So instead of you Fred Flintstoning this thing backwards, what you do is you put the bike in neutral, you hold this little R button down on your right control module. Once the R pops up on the Speedo, you let off, you press it again, and it goes back. If you keep pressing it, you're gonna pop a breaker. So the breaker is typically right here. Pull that cover off, reset that breaker. Your reverse works again. You ain't gotta worry about it. You don't need to call service to come up here because you think your stuff's broke. It's not. You just pop the breaker. That was it. All right, since we're done with the walk around, I'm gonna go on a test ride on this bike. When I come back, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Let's go for a ride. All right. Uh, you can notice the power right off the bat, just that little torquiness when you're hitting the throttle. It's very, very responsive. Let's give it a little gas here. Oh yeah. <laughs> this thing is awesome. <laughs> I'm telling you what. For the for the freewheeler versus the tri-glide. I mean obviously if you like a fairing in the radio, you don't want to stick with the tri-glide, but man, if you just like a nostalgic look that still is comfortable. It has great handling and power, there's nothing wrong with a freewheeler. No need to downshift. Woohoo! Hello! Get on your side of the lane there, Chief. Oh, yeah. Baby is rolling! <laughs> The power in this thing is unreal. Absolutely unreal. I mean, just getting on the highway, didn't downshift one time, still passed the semi with 16 cars, it seemed like. Obviously not that many. This thing's awesome. And we got about a 90 mile per hour wind here. <laughs> the beautiful thing about these bikes is you can actually put a detachable windshield for days like today where the wind's blowing like crazy you wouldn't feel that and i don't obviously have a windshield on here but you know when they designed them the front end of it with that uh with the headlight you know you can put any windshield that's on there they come in three different sizes you got a short a mid and a tall you know tall for anybody who's five nine and taller you know your mid windshield's about you're 5'4 to 5'9, it works, and then a shorty, you just, you're, you're in it for looks at that point, but it'll still block a little of the wind. We're just perusing right along here. Go all the way down here. Take a little side street. I guess we'll get over. Bikes are even comfortable to sit on. I mean, I feel like I'm in a good riding position. My elbows are a little bent, got a little bend in the knees, obviously. Hips are in a good spot. Man, I could just keep on riding. But they would probably be looking for me at work. Not a good thing. A search party out here. 
Wow. Yeah, what a great, great ride. Smooth, it's comfortable. Not all the power. I, that's the one thing I just cannot stop raving about is the power that these motorcycles have is unreal. So good. I just, I, I mean, I've hit some bumps and I'm not feeling a single bump. It's smooth. Remind me like an old 65 Cadillac, baby, just floating down the road on clouds. Oh, I watched my speed down here, don't even realize how fast I'm going. They ain't trying to get a ticket. I don't think I'll get reimbursed for that at work. One of the, the big things that I really love about the freewheeler is just the, the styling of it. You got that hot rod look with your little dovetail fenders, I call them. I don't know what you guys would call them, but I like the, the dovetail swoop there, bigger wheels on the back. That 19 on the front, it's just a solid, just sexy looking bike. Trike, freewheeler, three-wheeler, whatever you want to call it. Just don't call me late for dinner, you know what I mean? What a beautiful day in Kansas City today. I mean, it is just gorgeous. I don't know. I just can't believe it's February, first of all, or if I'm really in Missouri, but it feels so good outside. Spring's coming, our riding season's coming. We're about another month or so, and it's gonna be game on, baby. Yeah, if you guys are looking for something that's comfortable, something that's got a lot of power already, something that you don't have to worry about putting your feet down, something that your wife or your girlfriend feels comfortable riding with you with, because maybe with because maybe you're a little maybe you're a little crazy driver or a rider. This is it right here. This is it. And I look like a badass on this thing. So that's, I mean, that's, you know, minor details. But you too could look like a badass with a brand new 2024 Harley Davidson, a freewheeler. Let's ride. Oh, roadkill. Look at what he was trying to get to the other side for. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I just love the way this thing rides. She's a good girl. Good girl. All right. Ooh. Got all the bumps out here. Kansas City's got the good roads. 
really get a feel for everything. Mizzou. Oh, Mizzou. That's clever. The other nice thing about a freewheeler is you come to a stoplight, you're going to put your feet down. Nothing to worry about. Zero worries. Like a convertible, but more fun. This is BMW trying to, trying to get some. Come on. Do you want some of this? You don't want this smoke. You don't want this. Here we go. Hello. How we doing, sir? We got another one. We get the old rider wave. Oh, he didn't give me one. Randall. Green light. Come on. I just can't believe how nice it is outside. I need to do more of these videos so I can get out here and test ride these things. Treat yourself. Enjoy that weather. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, these things ride good. Just the power coming out of that corner. I mean, these things just hug these turns. Power coming out of that corner. You are not lacking power in this bad boy. Zero of that. This thing is a beast. Whoop, chicken skirt. Who's going? Come on. Not you, sir. It's my turn. Love this. Love it, love it. And we're back. What a great riding machine. The power in this thing, I know I keep saying that, but the power in this thing is just unreal. You guys will absolutely love this thing. Y'all come on down here to Worth Harley Davidson. Come see me, come see one of our sales guys. We'll take you on a test ride. You will absolutely love it. You got any questions give us a call 816-420-9000 once again my name is sal akapenny over here with harley davidson let's ride all right back from the test ride overall i was actually quite shocked on just how good of a ride it is you know a lot of people say oh i just hate that you know you don't lean uh just like on the motorcycles man forget all that this bike the power the handling of it, um, even the suspension going over our uh, potholes, I say speed bumps, but potholes, hitting those little bumps on the road, didn't affect me at all. Just rolling on that throttle and the, 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 the throttle response, like I was saying, is just so quick. It, it's now. So when you're on, that, on the on-ramp or you're passing a semi or, or whatever, just to get out of the way, you can roll that throttle, not have to worry about downshifting and it takes off. I, I was actually really quite shocked on how well it actually rode. It was really good. Like I said, the suspension was amazing. That, that front fork and the rear, like I said, I didn't even adjust the rear to my weight. Uh, so whatever it's set on, I'm probably a 180 pound guy. I'm just a little, little, little heavier than that. Uh, it still rode good for me. So I could only imagine if I actually set it to my weight, how well it would have rode even, even more, which I, I can't even imagine that it would have. But um, just in just going down the road, 
I mean, like I was saying in the video, I, I felt like a badass riding this thing. Now, I don't need to ride this to feel that way, but I felt this way on it. That black, sinister, you know, uh, dare I say, like a, a Batmobile type. Um, just with those big wheels on the front, the 19s on the front, the 18s on the rear, chopping those fenders up so you can see everything. It's just a good look. It just really is. Just a truly, truly a good look. But closing on it, man, if you, if you want something, you can't ride two wheels no more, but you still want to feel like a badass, you want to look good, but you also want the performance, the ride, the safety, the quality, this is it right here. 2024 free wheeler, come see us. Also, don't forget, subscribe, hit the like button down below, watch for our videos, they're gonna be coming out, I'll be doing this all year. You're stuck with me for 2024. Come see us down here at Worth Harley-Davidson, baby. Let's ride!